Alright, well good afternoon. It is a uh, Wednesday afternoon and I'm on my lunch break. I thought I'd take the opportunity to uh, uh, show you the outside of the of the shack here at KD8 NJZ. Uh, while it's sunny and nice, it was pretty, pretty miserable yesterday. Uh, typical Ohio fall weather. Uh, but we're in my backyard and uh, as I've mentioned I have a, a fairly humble setup. Uh, but it's gotten me most of the states and, and quite a few countries. So uh, let me show you what I'm doing for my antennas for both HF and uh, VHF, UHF. And, uh, and, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look and, and see what you think. All right, let me flip the camera around here. Uh, here is my QTH backyard here. And uh, as you can see, I've got the, uh, the mast there. It's, uh, well, I got a fix one guy line a little bit, but uh, it's a fiberglass mast in four foot sections and I've got uh, nine sections up, so a total of 36 foot and uh, the top of the antenna is sitting down about a foot from the top. I'm running a Cobra Ultralight Senior in an inverted V and um, you can see, hopefully here, let me zoom in a little bit, you can see the wire going all the way down and I've uh, got it tied off on my neighbor's fence post and yes I did ask permission sorry for the wind noise and uh, going back up here uh, feeding it with a uh, ladder line it's doing a real nice job for me and tied back down onto the other fence post on that side and yes I do have my neighbor's permission on that side as well I want to be a courteous operator and so I made sure it was okay with them and, and they were absolutely fine uh, moving up here to the top of the roof, uh, you can see my uh, 2 meter and, and 70 centimeter J-pole. It's an aero J-pole and uh, it's, it's, it's done real well for me. We had a 2 meter band opening here uh, last week and on single, single side band simplex on 520 I was able to reach up to uh, London, Ontario with 50 watts from down here in Bowling Green, Ohio. Uh, so the uh, the J pole is doing a real nice job for me, and I got to give thanks to uh, W A N Y Y uh, Bob. He is our uh, E C here in Wood County for Wood County Aries, and uh, he he uh, gave that to me to to get up to replace the copper homebrew J pole that I had made for myself, which was doing an all right job, but uh, didn't have uh, 70 70 centimeter on it. So there is the antenna set up, and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look. Uh, where it goes into the house here. All right, well, we're on the side of the house where uh, the feed lines come into uh, into the shack. Uh, got a little nervous about this part popping a hole in the side of my house, but it's worked out all right. Um, as you saw, I had ladder line feeding the HF antenna, and the, uh, the VHF UHF is being fed by LMR 400 that I got from the wireman. And uh, again, it's doing a real fine job. So let me go ahead and flip the camera around again here. All right, as you can see, I have the ladder line kind of wound around a little bit in the bush just to keep it off the ground. Uh, we did cut back the ladder line from what it had originally. I think I'm down to about 70 foot uh, just to try and get, you know, a good SWR readings on, on all the bands. And there's the LMR 400 coming down from the, the J-pole. And uh, have the, uh, the extra coiled up there. And I, you can't see it, but I do have three uh, ground rods driven into the ground, grounding the station. And there's where it goes into the house. I've got a four to one ballon feeding the, uh, the, the, the coax that, that goes inside. And no, it's not the prettiest job in the world, but it's working. So there's the outside of, uh, of the shack and the feed lines. And uh, let me go back up top here and give you a closer look at the, the Aero J-Pole that's doing a real fine job. There that is. All right, we'll go ahead and go back into the shack. All right, so there was the antenna outside. I want to thank you for hanging out with me in my shack. And uh, as you can see, this is my son, Evan, my harmonic. And he's starting to learn a little CW himself. And I do have a, a YouTube video of Evan trying some Morse code. Got to start them young, right? <laughs> All right, well, thanks for joining me. This is Craig, KD8NJZ. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to have more videos for you soon. 73.